Welcome to Travel Discovery. I am Lisa and I will be your host. Today we're in the Philippines discussing how rice grows. Here we see some beautiful images of rice growing in the rice terraces. So we have rice terraces in the Philippines, Thailand, and other countries. But after this video, you're going to have a new appreciation for why they say rice is life. So let's see step by step how we get from seed to table. Rice is life. Please remember to like and subscribe. So here's a question for you. How long does it take to grow rice from start to finish? One month, two and a half months, four and a half months, or six months? Yes, four and a half months, approximately. This varies, of course, by region. So let's start with our rice seed. It is soaked for about 12 hours in water and it's just about to sprout before we actually plant it. So of course we need a small plot of land and the traditional way to prepare the land plowing and tilling and turning it over is what we see here, a carabao being used or even a cow. So you can see it's a lot of work and it's still done this way. But here's a newer way. We use a machine called a, a rotavator and basically what it does is turns over the soil for you. It's a lot easier, quicker. We do have to let water in because of course, rice needs a lot of water to grow. We will spread the seeds evenly by hand. We will let some of that water out. We just want the soil really saturated. And then soon we see the rice growing and growing and growing. So our seedlings are getting bigger and bigger. So now we basically wait. And now about this height that you see here in the video, we are going to actually pull up those seedlings and we're gonna bundle them. So they use strips made from bamboo here and that's what this uh, local farmer's doing. Uh, she is wrapping those seedlings into bundles. And this is done because we have to replant them. So the rice is not ready yet. We get the roots nice and wet and they will replant them in about a day or two. So women usually help with this because it's a lot easier for them in the process to help with this part of the process, but men do it also. So here are our bundles. And again, we have to make sure the roots don't dry out. And then it's replanted into nice even rows as we see being done here. There's a certain technique into pushing it into the soil. It has to be a certain uh, depth. And the reason it's replanted is because, of course, that rice seedling can get the most from the soil. There is something called direct seed where you just throw it and it grows, but this is the best way if you have this irrigation system in place. So water is very important. And here's a local in the province irrigation system. And so we have to make sure that the fields are going to be watered. They're at different levels here, so you can see they're all not even uh, because it's easier to let water in and out at different levels. And then our rice is going to be ready after about two months of growing. We do let water in about every 48 hours. And here we are ready for harvesting. They use what's called a combine. So this is a new machine that's used locally. It used to be done by hand using a sickle, but look how easy it is. It only requires one driver, and then you have uh, two farmers collecting the actual rice in bags. And so that's what they're doing here in those blue bags. That is the rice grain that's being separated from the plant part. So you can see you don't need a lot of laborers. Could you imagine doing this by hand using a sickle? And it used to be done this way, quite labor intensive. So just remember on that last month, it doesn't need to be so wet, but the first two months water is important. So here we've harvested it, but we're not done yet. We need to dry the rice grains. And so it's spread out. It takes about two days typically to dry rice. Here in the Philippines, the sun is very hot. And if there's no interruption of rain, it takes about two days to dry. Remember, there's a husk that's surrounding the actual rice grain. So that's why the chickens can walk on it. You might see dogs walking on it. So the husk has to be separated. And here's the husk. They actually use this with feed to feed the animals and mix it with animal feed. So they actually will even sell the husk. But here's a rice mill separating that husk from the actual rice grain. And it's bagged up again and stored, ready for sale. So what are the prices? This is just locally. This varies, of course. In the Philippines, 40 to 50 pesos per one kilogram of rice or 71 to 80 cents per 2.2 pounds of rice. 
And now it's ready to be consumed. You can put it in your rice cooker. I just want to say thank you to all the local farmers, hardworking farmers. Here's Farmer John. And now you have a new appreciation for rice. Rice is life. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'll leave you with some beautiful images of the rice terraces. Thank you.